Okay, this is uh, Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to uh, just give a slight back, uh, background to this. Uh, something happened overnight and I've done a report on this on my blog. And I'll leave the, um, uh, the uh, details of this uh, below. So basically uh, the story is that there was a fire aboard a, uh, a submersible um, and uh, yeah, there were 15 people I think killed, seven of whom were, were captains and so forth. So I'm not going to go into all of this, but it's, there's a lot happening uh, and I'm not even sure what is being revealed in the main media. But what I do want to play is uh, a couple of extracts from a talk on uh, True News, that's uh, Rick Weil, uh, uh, and, um, and someone else on, on this. And I thought that the actual um, analysis was, uh, was pretty good. And they're, they're very honest. They say what they're saying is just speculation, uh, but with so few details, um, well, so I'll just, um, I'll just let that um, talk for itself. I know, you know, they're calling this a research vessel. Uh, I can assure you uh, that submarine was not studying starfish <laughs> on the right. bottom of the sea. Uh, this was a, an intelligence uh, submarine. You, you threw out an idea, a possibility in my office earlier today that the fire, uh, again, we're caused by an enemy of Russia sending a, a, a computer virus into the submarine. Yes, I mean, we, we have to explore these uh, possibilities because we've been told openly that our, our government uh, and others have, have opened the door for cyber-style attacks on military and civil infrastructure in countries that we consider to be a threat, which Russia is one of these countries, especially from the New York Times report. And what I expected to you, Rick, was that uh, if a malware, uh, let's say a virus, was put inside... Like a Stuxnet. Like a Stuxnet was placed inside the Russian Defense Ministry's, uh, let's say, their uh, mapping computer. That data was transferred to the submersible vessel, the submarine, and this was then, in turn, placed inside the miniature sub. It's possible that that could have overloaded the computer, uh, caused a malfunction, for example, with plenty of the, the very complicated uh, systems involved in this, these submarines to, to function at low depths, and that could be uh, basically the culprit behind the explosion. I mean, without further information, this is pure speculation, but what is not speculation is that the United States, on, uh, through, through the Cyber Command, has stated not just with Russia, but with Iran also, we have conducted offensive cyber operations. And in regard to Russia specifically, that we placed uh, what was basically described as time bombs inside Russian infrastructure in the case that Russia were to either meddle in an election or do some kind of provocation against our country. One of the Russian reports that I, I, I translated said that the fire was not on board a submersible, yes, it, but it was on board a nuclear-powered submarine. Yes, and uh, according to what I was able to learn about the submersible, the submersible, uh, what we've been able to figure out is uh, if it is this vehicle, it's called the Loscherik AS-12. Now, this is a miniature sub -work that has to dock with a larger sub. The story you're referring to, I believe, is, is talking about the a gas explosion occurring on the larger, the mother yes, right. ship of the of the smaller submarine, which is possible. Without further information from the Russians, uh, that uh, report from the media I, at this point would be basically unverifiable. Now, the, the submersible is termed, described as a sabotage device. Yes, and that uh, was from a New York Times article dating back. And you just jogged my memory that we are only two weeks uh, from where uh, the U.S. Cyber Command, uh, allegedly, according to the New York Times, and, and even public at this point, used uh, their uh, issued uh, or basically powers uh, through an executive order to uh, attack uh, or probe the Russian uh, electric and uh, infrastructure grid. Could, this is just speculation, though. Could the Russians have determined that if the cable is disconnected, 
the Americans attempt at entering their infrastructure, their Ooh. web, Ooh. basically shut down. I mean, that's wait, that's this is really this fascinating. What you're hitting on. So we have this report that 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 the U.S. Pentagon is preparing a cyber attack on the Russian power grid. Yes. And what you're suggesting is the Russians are cutting, they're cutting the cord for the U.S. Pentagon, NSA, whatever agency is doing the cyber attack. They're cutting the, they're cutting the cord, they're cutting the cable. That does. Yes. And this, and that you, submarine also is very vital to a defensive posture for Russia's uh, cruise missile capabilities. And uh, I don't have that information in front of me to read to you, or maybe I can. Give me one second. Or no, I can't because I'm actually using my phone to record this broadcast. So I can't read it uh, there. Um, I'll tell you what I can do. Let me do like this here. I'm going to take the screen down for just a moment, uh, and I can give you a little bit more information about that situation there as well. So let me just kind of give you a little update here. And... Um, Let's see here. Yes, okay. <clears throat> the submarine that was actually struck apparently uh, was a counterintelligence sub. It was designed to interrupt any cyber attack to the Russian ballistic missile defense system and also initiate similar attacks. That's what was actually being shared with me uh, today. And uh, this whole issue about uh, this being just some kind of fire, it was also told to me that that was uh, far-fetched, what people are saying about that as of right now. Uh, so the, the, the situation is very fluid, friends. It's very fluid. And, uh, and so I, I just really encourage you to be in prayer.